Like me, you've probably spent many hours in various different racing sims preparing for upcoming races, learning new tracks and forever adjusting setups all in the pursuit of trying to improve your lap times. But have you ever actually looked into your own driving and seeing what you can improve there? Well, that is where I'm pleased to announce the latest partner for the channel Track Titan comes in. It's a telemetry tool that will record your lap times and allow you to analyze the data of your driving. It features automated hints and tips that helps identify where exactly it is that you are losing lap time. Whether it's being on the brakes too early, whether it's getting on the throttle too late in the corner, or whether you're not carrying quite enough speed in comparison to other drivers. It's compatible with various different racing sims and racing titles and that list is going to continue to grow as the team is working on compatibility with other existing racing titles that are out there as well. Now I've used various different telemetry tools in the past across various different racing sims and I've always found them extremely helpful in finding those few extra attempts of a second around a circuit by identifying what it is exactly I'm doing wrong in comparison to other drivers and helping gain some lap time that way. Track Titan does say on the website that you can gain more than half a second after analysing your first session and I can say that for myself having used the tool over the last few evenings I've gained a couple of attempts on a few different circuits. Now a couple of attempts probably doesn't sound all that much and I don't want to sound too arrogant or like I'm blowing my own trumpet but at the risk of doing so in the next few seconds I do tend to find myself racing against esports drivers, esports teams and some of the best drivers on ACC racing in tier 1 of the Apex Online racing league so generally my lap times are pretty good and pretty quick but there's always room for more improvement and gaining just a couple of attempts could be the difference of qualifying outside of the top 20 and qualifying up in the top 10 for others who are new to a circuit or new to a racing sim and maybe just generally looking to improve may find that the gains are even greater so to start using track titan and begin improving your lap times you'll first need to create an account on their website down in the description below is a referral link that will take you to the Track Titan sign up page. By using that referral link and making sure that Yorkie is in the referral slash promo code box when you first sign up to Track Titan, you'll not only be supporting the channel, but you'll be getting the additional benefit of having unlimited recorded laps for your first 30 days as a Track Titan user. Fill out all the other data fields with your information and then click that sign up button to create a free account on Track Titan. Once you've created an account, you'll be prompted to download the desktop app. Go ahead and click that download button, install it, and then log in to your account on the app itself. Once you're logged in, you should see this screen. Go ahead and hit the set up your game, and then you'll be presented with these various different game titles that Track Titan supports. Go ahead and select the game that you would start like to log in laps in. For iRacing and the setter course of Competizione, the setup process is pretty much complete from here on out. For other games such as Forza and the F1 series, I think there are some more setup steps to follow. Just go ahead and follow the instructions here on the website and you should be all good to go. So for ACC, you're going to go ahead and select that, go to dashboard, and then that's you set up with the free membership. And providing that you use code Yorkie during that sign up process, you will have unlimited recorded laps for your first month here as a free member. Once that first month is up, you will drop down to the 50 laps recorded per month as per the community, the free membership plan that you can see here in this table. If you're enjoying the Track Titan tool, wanting to continue using it and wanting more than 50 laps per month, then you can upgrade to either the plus or premium memberships here, as you can see, to gain access to the various different features. And you can choose whether you want to pay monthly or annually. When you go ahead and select your payment plan and choose to upgrade, make sure that here in this add promotion code box, you put your key once again in order to get 30% off discounted for your first month as a paying member. Make sure you apply the code in order to get that 30% discount on your first month and then fill out all the other payment details and hit the subscribe button in order to begin your paid membership. Now you're probably wondering how you actually go about recording your lap times and analyzing your data and it's very simple. Once you've got the desktop app set up with the game that you are planning on running with, go ahead, run that app in the background whilst jumping into the game, head out onto the circuit, drive a whole bunch of laps and then come back to the Track Titan website here. From this main page, you want to go into the Your Sessions section and you'll see here basically all the various different sessions that you've run in the various different sims with the app running in the background. So go ahead and select the session that it is that you'd like to analyze and you'll be presented with this screen here with a variety of different pieces of information that is being presented to you. 
Over here, we've got some general information, and we can see basically our fastest lap time in comparison to the reference lap time, which are up here. So this is the fastest lap that it is actually uh, using here in the session. So you can select a different lap if you would like to, rather than your fastest. There's a particular lap that you'd like to look at. And then up here, you've got the reference lap time that you compare against. So at the moment, we're comparing against the Track Titan official lap time. We can go ahead and select a community lap, and we can see various different users here that we can compare ourselves against so you can go ahead and compare yourself to me if you really want to or you can go ahead and compare against your own lap times from various sessions that you have done as well so for this instance i'm going to go ahead and compare myself against valentin barriers lap time and we can see here where we are losing time around the circuit and places or sectors where we are gaining time if you're struggling for the setup, there is a button here that will take you to a page that will allow you to purchase a setup from the HIMO setups community. Obviously very, very good, very, very competitive. And if you're in ACC, clicking on this track guide button will take you to a page where you can view my in-depth track guide series and the track guide for the specific circuit that you are analyzing. Now, coming back to this page, we can go ahead and click on any number of these corner sections here to begin analyzing the telemetry within it. To begin with, you are presented with this page here, which is the basic layout. It's probably a little bit more beginner friendly for those who aren't too familiar with telemetry and being able to read it, where it's a little bit more broken up and more easily digestible. Down in the bottom left here, we've got basically various different headers where we can see our speed trace, our difference to the reference lap time, our throttle traces and as you can see as we're moving along and hovering our most mouse over this telemetry lines and the telemetry data here the stuff on the right hand side in terms of our brake and throttle traces as well as our steering inputs is also updating in real time as well to navigate between the various different corners you can actually go ahead and click on the turns individually in the map down here in the bottom left alternatively you can press these arrows and it will skip to the next and also obviously this arrow here will skip to the previous corner as well so as you can see fairly easy and simple to navigate and up here in this right hand section we actually have the tips and hints that highlight specific areas of the telemetry highlighting where it is that you're losing lap time in comparison to the lap that you're comparing against so going ahead and clicking on this first lap here, saying that I came on the throttle too late, I can gain time on the exit of the corner by coming on the throttle earlier. And it goes and highlights here in this window where exactly it is in the telemetry that I can actually improve. As you can see, we're actually marching very, very closely. He does get on the throttle slightly earlier than myself. As you can see, he's already at 21%, 22% throttle whilst I'm still not on the throttle at all. And then you could probably see that I've actually jumped and gotten on the throttle a little bit harder than he has. But that is equating to a difference of, where was it, two tenths of a second on this lap. If we go ahead and look at the speed, you'll probably also notice that my speed is slightly higher in and around the apex. But as he got on throttle a little bit harder and a little bit sharper or a little bit earlier than I did, and I was actually losing a little bit of traction coming off the exit of this corner. His speed has increased a fair bit more rapidly than mine has, and that is equated to this difference in lap time. There is this option up here to go into the advanced layout, which is generally what I tend to prefer and probably what other people are more familiar with if they've used telemetry in the past, where you can see all the various different pieces of telemetry data and channels being presented to you all at once. So obviously we've got the difference to ref, uh, difference in times to the reference time, the speed, throttle braking, and also steering and gear traces are also here as well, which you don't actually get in the telemetry layout. It's just, uh, it's just the first four, uh, as you can see. It does also make this trap map window a little bit smaller, but generally what you should be looking at is this actual telemetry traces here in order to identify where it is that you are actually losing lap time. As mentioned, these automated hints and tips do exactly that, which is something that I haven't seen other telemetry apps do, nor have I seen them provide a track image that works quite as well as the one here in Track Titan. This is actually really quite useful because in some other telemetry tools that I've used, although you kind of see a difference in line and a kind of like a GPS data sort of line, they don't always actually draw the track environment around those lines. So it's actually hard to identify sometimes in some corners 
how much further you can move exactly a little bit further to the left or over to the right or where the other car that you're comparing yourself to is actually positioning themselves. Obviously, you see the difference between your line and their line in kind of meters, but it's hard to kind of visualize that. Whereas actually having this image here up in the top, which you can actually zoom in and out of and adjust the, the line width just to make it a little bit more clearer for yourself is actually really, really useful and a very nice visual touch which allows you to understand the telemetry that little bit easier. So moving on to the next turn and analyzing that, we can see another tool tip here saying that we lose the most time in the middle of the turn focused on what I'm doing differently in this area. So looking at this top graph, the difference to reference, we can actually see that we are marginally ahead in some places about a hundredth of a second. So very, very minimal between the two of us. This speed is pretty much comparable and maybe half a kilometer per hour or so quicker in certain places. Otherwise, we're near enough matching on that. But as we come in towards the braking zone here, we can see that I actually get a bit earlier on the brakes than Valentin Barrier does. And as we continue through the braking zone, I'm actually on 100% brake pressure for longer than Barrier does. And that relates to a basically a 10 kilometer per hour difference in speed pretty much all the way through the braking zone. You can see where my mouse is here in this uh, speed trace graph. We can see that our speed difference is pretty much 10 kilometers per hour all the way through until we start to bleed off of the brakes a little bit more aggressively than Barrier does, where we start to close the speed up once again. And as we come in towards the apex, we can see that I'm actually getting onto the throttle quite a bit earlier and a hell of a lot more sharply than Barrier does, which does equate to a, a bit of a gain, as we can see here, over the next 10 to 20 odd meters or so. You can see that difference to reference uh, graph here dropping back down, indicating that I'm gaining time through this little kind of section and portion of the corner. Likewise, you can see the speed trace. We're pretty much comparable once again, but as we continue through the exit of the turn, I do remember on this lap actually having a bit of oversteer and obviously that loss of traction has then gone and hurt my exit and drive off the turn. And you can see that there with the speed difference, having gone from being about a kilometer per hour or so quicker than barrier to then dropping down to about two, three kilometers per hour slower as we continue to drive off of the turn. Now, as mentioned, I remember that slight bit of oversteer moment having to correct the car and that slight loss of traction, but you can see exactly here what impact it has had on my lap times going from basically a tenth of a second to losing near enough about another half a tenth of a second through the remainder of the section running up the hill. We'll go ahead here and jump to one last corner. We'll jump to turn nine here or the section nine here, shall I say, it's definitely not turn nine here at Bathurst and take a look at this section. And you can see that our speed is a little bit higher than barriers on the approach coming into the braking zone. We're about three kilometers an hour up. You can see the difference in time. We are gaining time and we're continuing to gain time pretty much all the way through in towards the apex. The tool tips here, we've got a variety of different ones the same way. It came on throttle too late. We lost the most amount of time on corner exit. But the main thing that it's highlighting here is that I shifted down too far. We jumped down to our gear uh, trace. We can see that we're both up in SIF gear. Barrier shifts down or gets, we get onto the brakes kind of roughly in and around the same sort of time. Uh, I think I myself get on the brakes ever so slightly harder and sharper slightly earlier. Barry is actually shifting down earlier than I am. So I'm still in sixth gear at this point, whereas Barry is now down in fifth. I've then gone down into fifth, but Barry is now down into fourth. I then jump down to third and we're both down in third gear, but then I shift down into second and carry that gear in towards and through and out the exit of the corner. Barrier, however, stays up in third gear pretty much the entire time. And as we can see, braking, uh, probably losing a little bit more speed than he does coming through the apex. Yes, there's about a five, six kilometer per hour difference. He's gone on throttle slightly earlier than I have and more sharply than I have. But look at this time difference. We've gone from being a tenth of a second ahead to basically by the end of that section being a tenth of a second behind. So I've lost two tenths just by being in one gear lower than Barrier has and getting onto the throttle slightly later. 
So as you can see, diving into the telemetry can become very, very valuable in identifying where exactly it is that you're losing lap time in comparison to other drivers. And with that knowledge, I can jump back into the sim now, go ahead and practice those weaker spots and see if I can improve and work on those in order to reduce my lap times and go that little bit extra faster. Track Titan is the first telemetry tool that I have used that actually goes and identifies exactly where these areas are with the hints and tips that are provided there within the tool. It just makes it that much easier for new users or people who have little experience reading into and learning and understanding telemetry and getting to know how exactly to read into the various different data traces that telemetry provides. And it's one of the reasons why I was happy to take on this partnership and recommend it to you. So if you want to start using Track Titan, make sure to use the referral link down below and make sure that you enter code Yorkie in the referral slash promo code box during the sign up process. And then if you do choose to upgrade your membership to one of the paid options that during the payment process, you use code Yorkie once again in order to get 30% off your first month as a paid member. That obviously be help supporting me. That obviously also gives you an additional benefit as well. And that support will be very much appreciated. Let me know down in the comment section below how much of an impact it has had on your lap times. And if you've got any comments or questions about Track Titan or any telemetry tools or how to read into the telemetry, please also feel free to pop those down in the comment section below as well. And I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, thank you very much for watching the video. Please leave it a like, consider subscribing to the channel. And until the next one, have fun, stay safe and take care.